Well, that was fun. I'll just give you a few tips now after the maiden fly. A little bit of a debrief. Okay, just looking at the front. This is the setup I had, the receiver here, the um, connection for the battery here. I actually used this particular battery. It's uh, a 1.8 or 1800. It was a nanotech, uh, nanotech 3S battery. And uh, to balance it correctly, I got a little mark here. To balance it correctly, I actually had it at about that position there. So it turns out that the um, that I really didn't need the nose cone to be lightweight. Um, in fact, I'd probably sooner have uh, at that slightly heavier and push the battery further back. But so the battery flew in this position, and I actually taped it in as well to. Um, put in make sure it wasn't going to move there is room for it to go further back so I think with a, um, a heavier nose cone this is the original print nose cone with the, the second bit right up here but it's been modified so I believe just printing me another one with the modified brake which I think instead of being up here which is very hard to match is, is, is here so you can match it up with the cockpit very easily. Why it's a bit different to DOMS? We think it's because um, of the uh, 3D printed tail fin and control surfaces. They must be heavier than the, uh, the Depron that he's used on his, uh, his prototype. I'll just give you a little bit of a, a look it's something that's very important with the setup before you fly and that is if you can just look at the uh, elevons they're both up there's uh, a few millimeters of um, up trim on those and that's absolutely uh, essential for it to uh, to fly correctly I found I actually needed to add a bit of up trim especially as I throttled it back it was very fast to start with um, once it gained speed after that initial launch it really accelerated and I, I slowed it down to probably half throttle or I'd say even a little bit less than half throttle so um, She's a really slippery machine, and as you would have seen on the video, it was um, it's quite hard to slow down. Now, I didn't have actually have the um, uh, brake on the uh, fan, but I probably should. That would help slow it. Um, it needed quite a long time to uh, to get down, and in fact, I think it actually took off and. Uh, bounced up back and came down again on the landing run so um, yeah so it is very important that you get this uh, little bit of up trim built in the other thing is that uh, I didn't actually need as much throw as um, as mentioned in the uh, the manual certainly I'd make sure that you don't have any less than two millimeters of uh, up trim that might even be yeah two two and a half mils I'd say battery power you'll see that I've got uh, about 46 percent power left in the um, in the battery after that flight so I could have actually flown it for a little bit longer I had my timer set for three minutes I went for a bit longer than that so uh, depending how you fly it uh, with this size battery um, certainly definitely four minutes throw it right back and flew it really conservatively maybe even more oh what a nice plane it really flies nicely had to throttle it back I feel and um, 
yeah, it had no vices. So I, I could see no hint of it doing anything bad. It uh, it was a delight to fly. So, well done, Don, and well done, Jeff, for uh, doing such a great print job of this, uh, this beautiful machine as well. So, uh, for those who are building their own, um, I wish you well. It's, this is a great plane, and uh, um, I'm sure you'll enjoy it.